Now you coming off just released was the Dre Dennis battle off of um, Gates of the Garden. Um, kind of recap that battle for me and for the people round for round. How you felt like that battle went with you and Dre? Oh, Dennis. me and Dre Dennis battle. You know, I just uh, me and Dre Dennis battle. You know, that was my first time out there in uh, Jersey on the East Coast. Period. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been I've been battling and I've been I just pulled up in six different cities this year. I was just in Indiana. I was in Indiana twice, and then I was in I was in Indiana. I was in Minnesota. I was in Kansas. I was in, yeah Minnesota. I was in K. I was in uh, yeah Indiana twice. I was in Jersey. I was in Kansas, and I was in, uh yeah uh Peoria, Illinois, and shit too. So like I said, I've been to all these cities in the last couple months and shit. And like I said, it was it was definitely good out there. I was I definitely got to uh, meet a lot of battle rappers that I I didn't know that already knew me and shit like Jay Murder, you know what I'm saying, and all the other we had more battle rappers and shit. You know what I'm saying? It was good network out there with them and shit too. So. It was just a real, it was a real good vibe out there. I, I just like motherfuckers, you know. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bar for bar nigga, so I really like happy that they, you know what I'm saying, appreciated, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the bars and shit like that in the battle. I really expected uh, Dre to come with more, more than what he gave and shit, because it was like, I, it, every, it's like everybody that battled me always say the same shit, and they always say the same shit, but they always like switch it up in a different way or something. They always gonna say a Bill Cosby or. Cool G, Biggie Smalls bar, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. I just, I just, I just really expected uh more out of uh Dre Dennis, but Dre Dennis did good though, you know what I'm saying. I just expected uh more out of Dre Dennis, but it's a good battle. Shit, is that is that six some um, almost seven K? You know, been out like two three days. So. Yeah, y'all gotta make sure y'all check that out on YouTube, man. LL Cool G versus Dre Dennis. Do you feel like you won that battle over Dre? Oh yeah, <laughs> facts. Okay. Now, as far as the feel of the event, because Gates of Garden is, is fairly new, like in your opinion, by this being your first time on the East, how was the support? Like, how did you did you get love there? I mean, oh was yeah, it just a I, good I mean, at like a lot of motherfuckers that was catching shit, you know what I'm saying? They was catching shit late, or they was catching shit basically at the beginning of my round, but towards the, you know what I'm saying, me getting through all my shit, I was getting plenty crowd reaction, like you know what I'm saying, even before the battle. Prayers, prayers before the back. I let prayers in my shit when he was at Battle on Black Eyes Cartel when he was in Milwaukee. The last day he was in Milwaukee with Quantum Man and shit. He heard my shit at the hotel. Even before we battled, before they cut the camera on for us to uh, battle, he told Dre, like, bro, I heard Kooji shit, bro. Kooji for the fuck you up, bro. <laughs> like, like, mm. like, nigga. Prayers told, prayers told, nigga. Prayers to tell you the same thing. He's like, bro, I heard Kooji shit. Like, niggas know I get busy and shit. You know, like I tell for me being a Barely a uh, nigga that just came off the PG shit, you know what I'm saying? For me to be up there putting on debatable, whooping, winning battles and putting on debatable battles with, you know what I'm saying, Stewie Newton, being on Prez Mafia, uh, being Dre Dennis, you know what I'm saying? I battle, I battle GE, all of them, you know what I'm saying? Right. Now, speaking of Prez, like you've been doing your thing for a minute, but as far as momentum go, to me, Last year, starting with the Prez battle was when you really caught fire because you had the Prez battle, and then I, I think Stewie. the battle Stewie Newton. Yeah, Stewie. Yeah. Um, we just talked about Dre Dennis. You got QP coming up, and you had a couple other battles. Yeah, because Since I had. Uh, yeah, I, it was some uh, business. It was some because no, I was before that. After that, I was January. I was supposed to battle Chef Trez, but the, the day of the battle, some shit happened with his flight and all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Some business shit which they had nothing to do with me. So it was like that okay. shit focused on out of battle. So if I them battles would have went through, I would have had trends on my resume. And I had a battle with Mr. Mills too in March. But that battle with Mr. Mills, Mr. Mills ducked me the day of the battle. Wow. Yeah. Now this that shit with Mr. Mills, man. Nigga, niggas been talking about that ducking shit with Mr. Mills. I don't know what You know, like I Mills. said, I ain't I ain't trying to bash him or none of that, but like he the day, like I said, the other battle, it was like shit. I the nigga didn't show up and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was talking talking crazy on a on uh Facebook, you know what I'm saying, battle wise, you know what I'm saying, geeking the battle up and shit, doing that, talking shit. So I'm expecting to come with some shit. And then right. the nigga, you know what I'm saying, he don't show up and shit. So I'm like, yeah, so I'd have had Chef Trez and Mr. Mills on my wrist. I'd have, right now I'd have had at least like eight or nine niggas, eight or nine battle niggas, URL niggas on my resume already. And I ain't even I ain't even got on a born legacy, none of that shit yet. <laughs> Which one do you feel was your best performance since the Prez battle? Do you feel since like the, the Prez, Prez battle was your best? My best performance. I feel like the battle with me, yeah, me and Dre, me and Dre, okay, me and Dre. I think uh, Dre and Dre and motherfucker, yeah, and I think Prez would be my. I think that probably me. It's pretty much a, a tie to me, man, with the Prez and Dre battle and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because 
Yeah, you know, like pretty much. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think the money. Like, I got a lot of dope ass battles and shit, man. Especially with my, my battle with Stewie and shit like that too. Right. So speaking of the URL, I know you had a PG. It hasn't been released yet. Uh, who did you battle on the PG card so the people can kind of be yeah, looking out for that shit when they Yeah, I battled on the PG card. I battled Gamble from uh, Cleveland. I battled Gamble from Cleveland and shit. Okay. And I got, I so got my mission? next. I got my next. Uh, I got another PG that took the twenty first. I battled hundred hundred shot French. I battled hundred shot Frenchy on my next PG. September 21st. So you locked in in July, you locked in in September. Ain't you locked in in August too? Yeah, I got a battle uh in out there in Rockford, out there in Rockford versus Felix from uh Minnesota. I got a three round battle out there and shit. And other, yeah, I got to put that on here too. You know, I don't smoke or drink, so my mind always I'm always able to write shit quick as a bitch. Right. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. Now, um let me think, yo. Cause it was something I wanted to ask you. Do you, as far as the Midwest movement, as far as the Midwest, as far as the the respect uh, level in bad rap, do you feel like the Midwest is getting the respect overall, or do you feel like it's I only feel, certain places in the Midwest that's getting respect? Uh, I feel like we 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 starting back over again. We have a lot of new uh talent. Like a lot of new talent, like the True Folds, True Folds and shit, Honey Shot Frenchie, myself, you know what I'm saying? My got my nigga Jay Lopez, you know, Killer B, you know, Killer B, uh show the showstoppers and you know what I'm saying, stuff for showstoppers and you know, we have a lot of uh Midwest, like a lot of new Midwest talent, like my cousin Hulum, B and B Mike G, Larry Bull. C hit uh, all like we have a lot of new like I said a lot of uh like Apollo Creed from uh Michigan Indiana we got Grams Granddaddy Perp and we got we, we have a lot of new I feel like we starting to get it, the new Midwest new Midwest movement is starting to get back rolling because you know the, like you know we got the uh, legends you know like Verb J C you know like you know Cal and Hitman all of them you know what I'm saying but you know it's we, I feel like we getting the ball back rolling with G E. GE bringing okay. GE, GE working with North to bring in the PGs to the Midwest and shit. So it's bringing back the Midwest vibe to the URL, you know, because they really uh, stationed right now on the East Coast and with the, uh, you know, uh, DMV and they really fuck with the West Coast. So, you know what I'm saying? They got trying to get back to Midwest niggas in the uh, the fold and shit. That's what it do. T7 on Radio Live, man. We got LL Cool G, y'all, man. We got the motherfucking donation links in the description box. Yeah, y'all, y'all thanks for your donation to man. Seven, man, 7 Radio, man. The motherfucking donation right here and shit. And that's appreciate Now, Cool G, you do more than just battle rap, my nigga. Like, you the true definition of an artist. You do music as well. What was your first... Like, how, did you start battling first and start making music, or was it the other way around? No, I, I, I was making music... I was making music first, and I was uh, working with my guy that's on the post right now. My guy P. Jesus, he the one that uh, got me got me to battling because he, you know, you know how you in a you you always you in a booth and the nigga keep hearing you with these bars. He like cause he already was battling. And he had told me and my okay. brother Ruffin, free my uh, but my brother Ruffin and shit. He uh he had told me like nigga, y'all need to start battling shit. Y'all niggas got bars, you know what I'm saying? So I took this shit, you know what I'm saying? Took it and ran with it, you know what I'm saying? And I started uh, okay. battling this shit. So I, I was really, I was, I was always making music. I'm still making music. So now I just dropped a new mixtape, Roseland West Five. And I got ten mixtapes out right now on LiveMixtapes.com. That Piff, my mixtapes. So that's uh, all, every everything you can SoundCloud, all, Audio Mac, all that shit, man. With my uh, guy DJ Jerry, one of the hottest DJ in Mid, uh, Mid, 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 Midwest, Milwaukee, and shit. You know what I'm saying? He uh, hosts mixtapes and shit. I got no DJ tapes. All that shit, all on li- all on live mixtapes. That piff everywhere you can find SoundCloud, YouTube, all that shit, all free downloads. You know what I'm saying? Go go fuck with a nigga. And I just did a song with my nigga Scotty Lyrical. He dope. He make beats. He battle rap too. He make beats. All that shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I just dropped a new track called "I Got Him." Scotty, we doing a five track EP. I'm doing that because I, I just dropped my mixtape, new mixtape. I'm gonna do another EP. Drop another mixtape with my guy Scotty. He dope. He make the beats. Name Scotty Lyrical. Follow him on Facebook. For the beast, you know what I'm saying? Go cop some beat okay. and all that shit. Salute to the homie Scotty. So what was your what was your direction? What was your motivation behind the last mixtape, your most recent mixtape? Like what was your angle making that? Like my, my angle was like to reach my, my angle was like give them give people more of me and more of you know what I'm saying, the 
get people more to relate to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I I listen to it at this moment. I've been I've been listening. I've been listening to a lot of A Verb new album and shit for that. I've been I'm surfing his music, do work and shit. Like just giving you more that 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 uh that struggle. You know that that street appeal. You know that that real shit. You know what I'm saying on the music. And like I got my song uh my song Snakes That Love Adam. Like I said uh I said what I say on that shit. To the court the glory. I said Fusion was the only solution. Pollution was the only solution to paint the glory. To taint the glory, throwing shots at the spur of the moment. Robert Ory, God gave these hoes ears, but do they ever listen? That hoes ain't hope, man. These hoes don't want a man, they just want attention. Cause they never get submissive to their submission. Like shit like that. Oh. I let oh. God I got I let God set the limits. Ain't no need for no speed. Misfits don't fit in, and that's the reason why they ain't leading. Like shit like that. Like, mm. like, like shit I've been speaking on, like. I got a song on there called Ghetto Bars with me and my cousin Hullum. That's like when I was like, uh, I opened up the door for the devil and got surprised when he walked in on a three-way with Peter and Heaven Gates trying to buzz in. Thinking about the time back when, when I was when my niggas blood out, but they be leaking their blood in. I told him from oh. the, like shit, like shit like that. Like, like, man, I, my, like my first opening line, like open up the door for the devil and got surprised. Like when niggas do shit, does they know got repercussions and then turn around and get surprised when they get caught? That's what I mean. Right. Right, open up the door for the devil and got surprised when he walked in. Like it'd be one line shit. Like when that's what I say, I give it more people more. I'm saying more of B and more deeper shit. You know what I'm saying? Really, that's gonna that's gonna stay with you the lines like that. That's why I really went into my about this mixtape and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like like when I did my my new track, I got with my nigga Scotty. I got I said on that track, like like I said, I said uh, it's some things I want to tell my unborn son. Like I rather buy you a shirt than put you on one. Like shit like that. Like, Ooh. That, like you know what I'm saying? Real shit like that. Like I said, I'd rather you wear a cap and gown than an orange suit. And no matter your choice, nigga, you still the truth. Like you still a black man. You still, you still God's child, no matter if you choose to go to street life or the, you know what I'm saying? The, you know what I'm saying? Right life. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's why I really, I really go in this, like, you know what I'm saying? Really that, 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 that really deep shit. You know? That's why I really, my whole tactic of my new mixtape, my whole, my, my whole new music, all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga wasn't expecting a nigga that's 25 to be talking like rapping that shit on rapping this shit you know my favorite rapper Nas and shit so and Scarface and them niggas type like that not a little Uzi and none of them other niggas and shit you know what I'm saying old school niggas I got you I got you that's what's up so you said livemixtape.com is where we can live check mix, you out live mixtapes that piff soundcloud my mixtapes app live mixtapes app youtube all that shit anywhere you want to go just google my name LL Cool G I pop up as musical artists not like my first thing that pop up is my mixtape. Then after that, my verse tracker because I'm a, I was an artist first before anything. And go fuck with, like I said, it's a lot of motherfucking. Make sure I'm going to in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We got, like I said, we got myself LL Cool G. You know what I'm saying? We got myself LL Cool G. You know what I'm saying? We got Killer B. You know, Hulum, BNB Mike G, Showstopper, uh, Vixen the Assassin that's already on Queen of the Ring, Vixen. You know, got G. Yep. We got G E. You know what I'm saying? We got my nigga Zilla. I Zilla from out there, uh Beloit, Wisconsin. Zilla. We got, like I said, Jay Lopez. He on the PGs out there in Atlanta for the summer madness PGs. We all hood him gang. He out there for the summer madness okay. PG. He battled gamble. The nigga I battled on the uh PGs. And like I said, we got Larry Bull. From we got C Hit. We got a lot of motherfuckers that's you know what I'm saying that's uh dope. We got my nigga Dochi Goldstein. He dope. We got G Gray. Shot to U B L Battle League. G Gray. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of motherfuckers like in the Midwest that deserve that look. You know what I'm saying? Especially in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, because we get so overlooked. You know what I'm saying? Because you know niggas don't expect no rappers in Wisconsin. I don't think about it's Green Bay Packers and cheese and shit. Like, right, right. Um, before I let you go, I gotta get your opinion on um. Averb versus Murder Mook because Averb is a legend out in the Midwest. Like, how you calling man, that battle that's going down August 18th? It, like, man, I, I'm definitely rooting for Averb, but it's like, man, like, Bird gotta eat some motherfucking meat, bro. We can't be fucking around with vegan bird, bro. He can't, he can't be fucking around with vegan bird. Want to eat motherfucking celery on taco shells and shit, man? Fuck that. He. Me. We need that we Roman need, candle we, verb. We, you think Mook going to take this back? We need Roman candle verb. We need guardian angel verb. If verb come with Roman candle, guardian angel verb, all three rounds is going to be a long night for Mook. Long night for Mook. So, it's like, but, but I feel like Mook already got the rounds ready. He trained, he, you know, no, Mook calculated. Mook calculated. You know, Mook ain't, Mook just like Hollow and he with them niggas. They, they calculated. They already, he probably go, they know how to win, he, yo. When, when Mook, 
with, with like Mook. Like when Mook, when he finna try to pay him the 25 a couple years ago, Mook probably already had rounds ready for him then already. Facts. Like I'm finna battle this nigga, you know what I'm saying, sooner or later, you know what I'm saying? So, but I feel like I said, right. but like, like, I, Mook, they're like, Verb has to like, if, if, even if Verb make it debatable, it's still it's still a win for Verb because Mook got to win clearly. Mook got to win clearly. Mook the one got to win clearly to me. That shit gonna be a motherfucking movie, yo. I swear, I cannot wait August eighteenth. But salute to you, Coogee. Yo, let the people know man, where they you can follow, follow you at, my man, nigga. LL sign Coogee, off. man. You can follow me at Instagram. You know what I'm saying? At LL Coogee. Twitter at the real LL Coogee. Facebook. You know what I'm saying? LL Coogee. Everything LL Coogee. YouTube. LL Coogee. Go follow Hulum Gang, man. You know what I'm saying? Hulum. Go follow my cousin Hulum. BNB Mike GC hit. J Lopez. Larry motherfucking Bull. <laughs> Follow my nigga Cedric Ivy, man. Define Rich. Hulum Gang Clothing. If you want Hulum Gang Clothing, hit up me, Hulum, or motherfucking Cedric Ivy. Define Rich Clothing on Instagram and Facebook. And highlighting, go fuck with my nigga Seven Mitchell. Go fuck with him. Exclusive ass interviews, man. Recaps, predictions, yeah, all that yeah. shit. Go donate. Go donate right now. PayPal, man. Man, PayPal, Cash App, all that shit. Appreciate it. Good looking, my nigga. Appreciate it. You already know, man, the best of luck to you in July, man, versus QP. And I got to get you on the show once the battle over so all we can right. recap that. All I got you. Good looking, my nigga. You all, all right. ready. Be safe.